Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of the Cantu Chrome browser automation tool. I'm going to do a screen grab of this page. So I need to start the automation tool. I'm going to create a new macro. I'm going to discard whatever changes happened back there. And now I'm going to record. You can see that it's already picked up the A9 T9. I'm going to back to the web page. I'm going to click web testing. And now I've got the page, the target page. And I go back into the tool. I'm going to add a new command. And that command is, and you'll see that there are lots of them in here, capture screenshot. The target, for whatever reason, if you use anything that's not text, simple text, then you're going to get an error. So I'm just going to say simple text there, and that's all good. Now I'm going to stop recording. And now just to prove that it is doing what it's supposed to do, I'm going to open a new browser, blank, new tab rather. And I'm going to run the extension, rather the macro, play the macro. And let's see if we can get this. OK, so here is the browser in the background. And it says done up there in small green letters. Let's go back to the output and check our logs for errors. There are no errors. It says a new screenshot was captured. So let's take a look at the screenshots. And can I move this? There we go. And you'll see that I've got a new screenshot right here called whatever. Open that. Save. And there is my screen grab. So the next step, obviously, is to load is to find a way to load these. The next step is to find a way to load a CSV or a text file with lots of these and then loop this command with the targets automatically updating so that I don't have to individually rename the targets. OK. Uh, this is Cantu Web Browser Automation Tool. It is. Uh, quite powerful and it also has a lot uh, a very steep learning curve i hope this video has helped you understand how to get basics out of it thanks for your time and happy computing